Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth App Store submission tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering how we can archive and create an installer package for our application. And this is going to be used to eventually uh, distribute our application to the Mac App Store but creating the installer package allows us to test how the Mac App Store is going to install our application on other people's systems. So uh, it's a very good check to do before you actually send it off to make sure that uh, your application will install correctly and uh, you know before you get all these comments saying that your application doesn't install or there's errors or whatever. So uh, anyway that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is testing this out and it's uh, a recommended thing to do. So in the last few tutorials you know we basically got our application all ready, we got the code signing done, we got the entitlements and all that done and our application is you know technically we'd say feature complete at this point. So if we were to uh, say that we're done now, we're going to go to product and we're going to hit the archive button. And this will just create our application and basically allow us to distribute it to, uh, well, using whatever means we want. So once you've created your archive, it should display here, but if you need to find it again, it's under window organizer and in the archives tab. And what we want to do is go to the distribute option over here. And we do not want to submit it to the Mac App Store. We want to test it first as a Mac installer package. So we're just going to hit Mac installer package. And then we'll hit next. And of course, from here, it's going to ask you to code sign this. So we're just going to leave it as whatever we have. And then it'll probably ask you uh, to allow. And you'll usually want to hit always allow if it's your machine. And I'm just going to hit allow. All right, so now that we have this, we're gonna save it to our desktop. And now on our desktop, we should have the Spiral Fun PKG or installer package. So the important thing to note about this is that, you know, this is the standard install package that you would see if you downloaded something from the web. And, you know, I'm sure you've seen this at some point with something, but um, for the most part, we do not want to open this uh, just by double clicking on it like we would if we downloaded uh, the Mac App Store is going to install it in a different way. And we have to test this by using terminal. So we can just hit command spacebar and just type in terminal and hit return. And then we'll get a terminal window to work with. So what we want to do in this terminal window is use the installer command to install the package. And we want to use it uh, as the store would install it. Now import an important thing about how the store installs things or how installers work in general is that if you already have an instance of your application on your machine, it's going to try to update that instance. So for example, if you download an application from the Mac App Store and then you move it to another location other than your applications folder, then uh, anytime you update that application, it's going to update it in that location that you moved it to. It's not going to put it back in the applications folder. So this is good, obviously, for the users because they usually don't want to move it again. But for people that are building apps, it's kind of annoying because we always, you know, build apps while we're testing them. So if we were to install this package right now, it would just update the one that we were testing while we were, you know, developing our application. So to make sure that you don't have any other instances of this um, application, uh, it's kind of up to you to delete all the other instances that you have. Now, if you try to install this, it'll tell you where it updates it. So you can, you know, delete it if you didn't figure it out. But for the most part, if you just worked in Xcode and you just were building your application, normally you can see under products, there's the Spiral Fun app. And if we want to get rid of this instance, because it's saved somewhere on our computer, we just have to go to product and clean. And this will clean that instance. And then you can see that it turns red after that. And that indicates that it's now uh, it's now just uh, become, uh, it's now gone. So we'd have to rebuild our project to create that application again. So as far as we're concerned, uh, we're done with um, getting rid of all the other instances of our application. So we should be ready to go as if we were installing a brand new application. So to install this installer package as the Mac App Store, we have to install it using the installer command. And to do this, we need administrative 
privileges. So to do that, we need to use sudo or sudo, uh, depending on how you pronounce it or how you've learned over the years to pronounce it. And um, so just type in sudo, and that just gives you administrative uh, access, or uh, and that will allow, you, or that will ask you later to enter your password so that you can do things that. Uh, the system would require a password to do so uh, just type in sudo and then we want to issue the installer command so just type installer and the installer um, basically has a few different flags or uh, parameters that we can pass to specify what we're going to install and where we're going to install it so the first flag that we want to set up though is the store so we want to type in dash store and that indicates that uh, we're acting as the Mac App Store installing this application. So uh, the Mac App Store by default will install things in the applications folder and this just means that the installer in this command is going to act as the Mac App Store. So that's what of course we want and uh, the next parameter that we're going to add here is the package parameter or pkg. You can uh, spell it anyway or spell it either way package or pkg and uh, this is just the uh, path that we need to specify where the package is located. So um, our package we put on the desktop. So you can do a few things here. If you know where you're located, uh, you could just type that in. So right now we're in the home directory and the desktop is located in the home directory, uh, right in the home directory. So we just type in desktop slash spiralfun.pkg. Now, if you don't really understand, though, uh, how paths work quite uh, with terminal and you don't want to be uh, bothered with it, you can just uh, delete what you have there and you can just drag in the installer package and that will give you an absolute path to where the installer package is. All right, so the next part, now that you have the package path, is the target. And so the target is just the location of where we're going to install it. So to do that, we add the target parameter and as the Mac App Store you just want to install it on the hard drive and by default this will put it in the applications folder as long as nothing else is on there but we just want to put in the slash which indicates uh, our hard drive level so basically the top level of your hard drive and from here we can just hit return it'll ask for our password and it should go through the installation process and it's done. So you can see here uh, the important part is that it says it will be installed to the applications folder basically and it'll put the Spiral Fun app right in the applications folder which is what we want. You want to make sure that it does go there. If it says any other location make sure you delete that instance that you have and try this whole process again and then that way uh, once you get it uh, eventually you should be installing the application to the applications folder and that should indicate that in our uh, right here we should get our spiral fun application right in our launch pad but uh, if we want we can also test this by going to finder and going to applications and the applications folder we should have spiral fun which is right here so there we go we have our application all set and we could go ahead and launch it and want to make sure that you know we can and there we go we have our application and uh, you you know you can test it as much as you want but at this point it should work correctly so that's the important part is just testing to make sure that you know your application installs and again if it doesn't install in the proper location delete uh, that application wherever it's located and then try this install process again and until you get it installing in the right directory. Anyway, this is uh, the verification anyway that the installer package that once somebody downloads your application from the Mac App Store, it should work correctly. And um, that's all you really have to do. So anyway, I will uh, see you in the next tutorial where we set up our iTunes Connect um, we're going to set up the app in iTunes Connect and then we'll create a few screenshots as well coming up for advertising our application on the Mac App Store and we'll go through that process in the next tutorial. Anyway, more tutorials on this coming up and Cocoa tutorials as well and I will see you in one of them. See you then.